It's important to read and understand the AquaRise Technical Manual. It contains information to help maintain safety and prevent problems. Here are some do's to keep in mind. Read the manufacturer's installation instructions and install product accordingly. Follow recommended safe work practices. Use only Teflon tape to seal threaded connections. Make certain that gasket lubricants or fire stop materials are compatible with AquaRise product. Keep pipe and fittings in original packaging until needed. If pipe and fittings are stored outdoors, cover with a well-ventilated white tarp. Follow handling and storage procedures. Only use tools on AquaRise pipe and fittings as described in the technical manual. Use only AquaRise primer and solvent cement and follow application instructions. Use a drop cloth to protect interior finishes. Cut the pipe end squarely. Deburr and bevel the pipe end with a chamfering tool before solvent welding. Slowly rotate the pipe a quarter turn when inserting pipe in fitting socket when solvent welding. Avoid puddling of solvent cement in fittings and pipe. Make certain no solvent cement is on the mating faces of flanges, valves, or unions, as well as the threaded portion of adapter fittings. Ensure excess primer and solvent cement does not run inside pipe, fittings, and valves. Follow AquaRise recommended cure times before pressure testing. Slowly fill the AquaRise piping system with water and bleed the air from the system before pressure testing. Use water hammer arresters to minimize water hammer and prevent damage to the AquaRise piping system. Allow for movement due to expansion and contraction. AquaRise may only be used for hot and cold potable water distribution. Here are some don'ts to keep in mind. Don't use petroleum or solvent-based paints, sealants, or lubricants. Don't install adhesive tape, insulated wire, or cable in direct contact with AquaRise product. Don't use incompatible thread sealants. Don't use solvent cement that has exceeded its shelf life or has become discolored or gelled. Don't thread, groove, or drill AquaRise pipe. Don't allow the primer or solvent cement to run inside an AquaRise valve. Don't use solvent cement near sources of heat or an open flame or when smoking. Don't pressure test until recommended cure times have elapsed. Don't pressure test with air. Don't cut AquaRise pipe with dull or broken cutting tool blades. Don't use ratchet cutters. Don't use AquaRise product that's been stored unprotected outdoors and is faded in color. Don't allow threaded rod to come in contact with a pipe. For example, threaded rods used to connect pipe hangers. For more information, refer to the AquaRise Technical Manual or contact IPEX directly. Visit us at ipexaquarise.com.